cool in real life. Well, for me, it's live. For you, it'll probably be a bit less live. And since I feel like a YouTuber, we're going to kick this off Pina McKinnon style. Take one. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Cutest Road to Nirvana Intern Takeover Edition. And today, we're going to be mapping the airports and ports in South Africa. And if you don't know who Pina McKinnon is, call in sick, open YouTube, and go crazy. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, so the data we need, we're going to be using Natural Earth data, which you can download from here. Download the Geo package. If you click on it and it doesn't download, right click, open link in new tab, and it'll start downloading. I've pre-downloaded it to save innocent people the time of crying into a pillow over my slow internet. So in Q, just under the Home tab, we're just going to go to our downloads and find, there we go, there it is. All right, packages. Drag and drop this baby into here. Okay, now we're only going to select a few of these things because there's a bloody million of them. So we're going to need boundary lines. States and provinces, so press control and select it. So we select multiple ones. Airports, that's pretty essential. Coastlines. And ports, ports, there we go, ports. Okay, there we go, there is our data in all of its glory. Just to make this a bit more easy to work with, we're gonna select the points and move them to the top, so that will be our top layer, then our lines, and then our big layer at the bottom. Okay, so to kick this off, we're gonna deselect everything and just work with this bottom layer. So this is our formatting tab, I suppose you could call it, where we can do a whole bunch of styling from fills to labels and everything else. So I'm just going to be working with what I'm doing today, but yeah, please go and mess around with this and go absolutely nuts. Because you can do some pretty cool stuff. Okay, so first off, we're going to create... No, we're not going to do this, I lie. What we're going to do is just make this a dark gray color. So under our RGB colors, make it 109 for all three of them. And there we go. What a nice dark gray color. But just to get a bit suave with this, we're going to want South Africa to be a lighter shade. So we're going to go into our editing tab and we can make an expression here. Under conditions, there's a case. All right, so now we take that out. Go to our fields and values. All right, so now look, we've got a whole bunch of options here. And under here, there's a whole bunch of tags for all the different countries. And at the very bottom, you can see ZAF. So that uh, would obviously be South Africa. Apologies, we don't want that, we want this. So when that equals ZAF, then Wait, we want to delete that one, sorry. Then, okay, so we want to, want to lighten the zone here. We already know all of ours is 109. Close that off, and now we're going to change it. So let's change it to 175. We can see here, function returns a lighter color. Sending to 150 returns, it's 50% brighter, so brighter. why our expression is invalid. Oh, maybe because it's this little thing. No. Not that. Oh, there we go. Comma afterwards. Yeah. Lighter, and there we go. South Africa is now a lighter shade. We can close that tab. Save. I'm going to save it to desktop Nirvana video. And we're going to call it a port. layers so our coastline we're going to want to make this black just to kind of keep it consistent with this gray theme and also it's easier to see width we're going to make it 0 0.5 and obviously at the bottom here there's a whole bunch of options we can do we can make it a railway if we want to but i mean it's a coastline so that'll be pretty retarded 
if I keep that black zero point. Make it just a slightly bigger tab, just to have a bit of a distinction between the two. Close that tab and save. All right. Now for this page. Okay, so let me just show you the picture itself. We're gonna have another thing here called SA, and what that's gonna do is select only the ones in South Africa, so that we can edit. We only interested in South Africa, so we don't want to see the rest of the world. So let's start off with, I think this is ports, yes, okay. So we're going to select all the ports in South Africa. There we go, it's selected. Now if we press F6, that brings up our attribute tab, brings selected to the top, and those are all our South African ones. If I blow this down, you can see there, all South Africa, all South Africa. Edit. Open our calculator, we're going to call this SA, and we're going to make it 1. And there we go, SA, null for the rest. Okay, deselect all, save our changes, close editing, there we go. Okay, let's do the same with the imports and F6 attribute tab. We're going to make a new column. Okay, wait, before we do this, let's select all the airports. Okay, now we've got one here. That's not in South Africa. So what we're going to do, select by feature, press down control so we don't deselect everything else. And there we go. Only the ones in South Africa are selected. So now we go to our attribute tab, F6, bring selected to the top. There we go. Edit, bring out this guy, call it SA again. Also, one. And then we go one equals yes and zero equals no. So what we could do here, Let's get to the line. There we can see null. So what we can do is invert the selection. Update existing. Uh, SA is at the bottom. And let's just say zero for no, just to show everyone. And there we go. Okay, so now if we put false back in three. This is one, the rest is zero. Yeah, save our changes. Close the editing tab. Get rid of this thing back to our mouse. All right, there we go. Okay, so now before further ado, we're going to make a theme. So what a theme does is basically saves whatever's on your screen. So before we do that, let's edit these things. We're going to change it for a simple marker. Uh, no, okay, firstly, categorized. We only want South Africa. In here, our expression maker, back to a case. All right, so now what we want, where's our fields? So now if SA equals one, because we know we made it so that one is only the SA countries, we're gonna say name. Okay, change our symbol, we don't, that's boring, SVG marker. Okay, let's make this 12, that should be good. Let's get down to where we can select stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's, since we're working with ports, we're going to try and find something that resembles a boat or an anchor. There's a boat. Yeah, we're going to use this. Okay, back to our thing and then classify. All right, now we've got a whole bunch of boats. As you can see, we've classified it so that only the South Africa ones are going to get Colors, the rest is just going to be a staple blue since we're only interested in South Africa. We can remove that. Now with our color schemes, we can even get crafty and go to a color ramp, change it to Inferno, and it changes the whole thing. You can further edit the color ramp in here. And we can adjust things. Let's move that slightly. There we go. There's a oh. Okay, there's a line at the bottom here where we can adjust the scale and all of that. Just for this video, I'm going to keep it as a random one, just that it's nice there. Okay, close that. Now, we're going to save this theme so that we can only have the ports. So we click on here, add 
theme. I'm going to call it off. Now we're on to our airports. Okay, open our styling thing. Categorized again. An expression, we're going to do the exact same one. So since it's recent, just double click here. When recent one, then name. And that's the exact same thing. We created the SA column. We called it one, then name. Okay. Change this from a simple marker to an SVG. Make this 12. Just so it's a bit bigger and you can actually see it on the map. And we go down here to transport. And now since it's airport, we're going to make it something that looks like a plane. There we go, there's a plane. Let's use that. Go back here and classify. So we got all our South Africa ones have got colors. And we can see here, the one we deselected has got that green that we used for everything else because it's not part of South Africa. And we're gonna remove. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's save our changes so we don't lose anything. And now we're going to make a theme that only has the airport. So add theme, call it airports. I think I spelled that wrong, but anyway. Okay, so now, we can see it's taken off. now if we go theme airports, only our airports, go theme ports, changes it to ports. Okay, so now we're going to turn this into a, yes, yeah, so we're going to call this A plus P for short. change the page properties this lets us go from a4 to a whole bunch of different sizes landscape portrait all that right now we more we don't want that okay let's add a title because no map is complete like landscape stuff okay so now we're gonna make items of pink up here for save change oops and make it full font and let's save as is save as font let's make it so people can actually see it we can make it bold change the let's actually change this to something a bit cooler not that that gives us many options let's just choose this okay there we go we want it to be in the center middle let's make this font a bit bigger let's try 28 there we go that doesn't look too bad okay but now we're going to add the projection Right, no, let's actually put the maps in first and then we can do that. Okay, so map. Line it up, go to the middle. Let's try and make it as big as possible. So there we go, there's one. And we're going to add a second map because we want one for airports and one for ports. And just for this, I'm just going to move it slightly off the boundaries and from the top there. And then we can add a border to it. Let's try and line this up with both. There we go. Add a border to it so it looks, you can actually like, distinctly see it. Okay, so let's do, let's add a border first since it's on my mind. Okay, grids, add, modify. Okay, so now here you can also add a whole bunch of lines that'll give you your longitude and latitude. Right now we just want a frame. Let's get out of this, add one. Add a frame, nautical. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a border around our map. Okay, so this, looks to be in the middle of nowhere. So project, we're going to change this to Africa since we're working with Africa. And just to get this in the right place, if we hit here, we can drag and move our map around and zoom in, which will save us the time of having to manually go and work out what the best one is. Yeah, move that one around a bit. Come on. Okay, let's save that out for now. What we're going to do to this map is make it airports. So now we can see all our airports are here. Oh my goodness, okay. Scale 150, 123. properties let's turn it into that 
then we can see all our ports. I don't know why that zoom just changed this. Let's fix that quickly. There we go. Somehow this still looks very wrong compared to this one. There we go. That looks okay, better. All right. Legend. Yeah, so turn off order update. And now since we only want this one to be airports, we can delete the rest. But now we've still got this weird name up here, so let's go and edit that. Call it airports. Let's make this 16. There we go. Let's make this one 18. Since it's the title. All right, there we go. That looks good. All right, and I'll add one in for our next map. There we go. A whole bunch of stuff. We only want ports. Turn order update off. There we go. Let's change this name here. Ports. One just to keep things consistent. So that one was 16. This one here was 18. Okay, there we go. Looks good. You can see all the ports are color coded. Let's just add some the projection that we used. Okay, so text, we're going to delete that and we're going to use an expression. So let's see CRS. There we go. It looks good. In the front here, let's just go coordinate. Let's see how that looks. I can't see anything, let's just zoom in. SG84. Okay, so let's just go into this map here. And then let's turn this into Africa as well. There we go. Refresh. There we go. Africa thingy, but it's got a whole bunch of underscores there which look nasty. So let's go in here and change this. So, right, we want to be changing this part because this part's right, that's what we made. So, let's search replace. Replace. Okay, so that says string, so that's our string that we want to replace. We want to be replacing the underscores with that. So, add a space, another one, close bracket. Okay, and there we can see now there's no. Oh, there's no underscores. Okay. Let's zoom out so that our whole map's there. And there we go. Let's export this as a PNG file. So let's make sure we're in the right place. And do a video. AP final. Save. Save. Okay, we can go to this thing. We saved it on our desktop under here. There's our final thing. And there's our map. Airports around South Africa. Oh no, what happened here? Let's go and fix that quickly. Scale completely disappeared. Might have happened when we went and changed the I should just delete this and we're just gonna add a new map because that's this thing's just gonna fight me the entire time. 
Okay, so there we go. Use theme. That was ports. Looks like our, our legend store here. Okay, that's great. So we need to go and fix that again. We can add this into our map. Let's just make a border so we can see where our map starts and ends. Modify frame vertical. Okay, let's just get this out the way so we can bring that in later. Alright, let's put it in CRS. There we go. bring this back into the map. I don't know why it's hiding behind. Okay, well, we'll just redo this at the same time. Okay, so add the legend. Drag it in. Delete everything but ports. First turn auto update off. Turn everything off. Delete airports. Change that name to ports. And then we changed the font size. And that was 16. This one was 18. There we go. Let's try this again. Export. We'll call this. Thank you for watching.